So today I'm going to be mounting this fire stick antenna mount. It's designed to sit right here in the hood channel and stick out like that. I was originally thinking about putting it up here towards the front, but I think I'm going to go with towards the back so it can match the uh, regular FM antenna on the other side. So I'll probably put it right up here, just straddle that hole. So mounted up here, I'll have to drill new holes. I really didn't want to drill new holes. I'd rather use existing ones, but I don't think I can get around it here. This is my old mount. Um, I made it out of an old fence hinge. It's super ghetto. I had lost the nylon washers, and so I used like an old piece of rubber tube cut up. And this actually surprisingly worked well for the while it lasted, but I got a shell on the truck now, so that's why I'm mounting it up towards the front. Okay, so now my holes are drilled. Basically what I did was kept moving up bigger and bigger and drill bit size until my screw fit in there nice and snug. I went up to a 964. Now I can go ahead and put in our screws. They're these little short guys. They look almost like wood screws, but they're for sheet metal. Um, now, probably I would prefer a uh, finer thread than this, but of course I guess it's fine. I mean, it came with these, so might as well use them. Um, I might add some thread locker to them. I don't know if that will actually help because they're coarse threads. I'm, I've only used on fine stuff, but we'll see. I'll throw it in there anyway. Now I have the screws tightened up and that mount's not going anywhere. That's solid. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do is make sure that the antenna mount is grounded. Uh, I made the mistake last time with my homemade mount where I thought that the, the uh, truck bed was grounded. Turns out it wasn't for some reason, and so I had to run a grounding wire. So what we're going to do is get a multimeter, put it onto our uh, continuity setting, and we're going to test, put one lead on the battery, negative battery terminal, and another lead on just any metal point on that mount and see if it comes out as, as being continuous. Mm. Yep, that BP here means that there's a connection. So our mount is properly grounded. Now my next step is to feed the antenna coax cable through the firewall. Now my new antenna mount has just the positive and negative terminals on it. It doesn't have this, um, this coax ending on it like my old mount did. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut this that way it feeds through the firewall easier. Now that I have it cut and through the firewall, now it's time to strip it. So here I make a little cut around and I take off the insulation. And now this is a coax cable, so there's going to be a copper uh, wire wrap thing around it, and then there's going to be a layer of kind of foil uh, shielding. So what I did is I took that copper and pushed it off to the side. I'm twisting it up. Then you want to uh, make a cut and strip off that internal interior shielding and then this other insulation side to get to the center. Now on these coax cables, the center is the positive and the outside is negative or ground. Okay, now that that's all twisted and cleaned up, I can go ahead and put on the shrink wrap. Make sure you do this step before you start crimping um, because once you have those big um, eyelets on there, you won't be able to put, fit the shrink wrap over it. So here's my two eyelets. See, one is red and one's not. The red one's going to be the positive one. Go ahead and slide that over the middle there and go ahead and crimp it. And make sure it's on there tight because I've had these things slip off. And then the negative one is going to get crimped to the outside copper sheathing that we've pushed off to the side. If you want to, I guess you could solder these. I, I don't see why that would be a problem, but crimping works fine, as long as you have a good connection. Now I'll show you the kind of tricky part, and that's where these little eyelets are actually gonna go on the antenna, or on the stud mount, that is.
So the stud mount has these little nylon washers and those are meant to sit um, on top of and on the bottom of the steel mount. So that way it insulates the positive from the negative. So you'll have the positive on that bottom nut and then you'll have the negative in between those nylon washers. So that way those nylon washers sandwich the, the ground to the mount while also insulating the positive away. So once that's mocked up, you can go ahead and slide on that shrink wrap. And then go ahead and uh, shrink it up, although my lighter didn't start here. So now we'll take our mocked up antenna stud and we'll take it apart. And just like you had before, you'll take those nylon washers and sandwich the steel mount in between those two nylon washers. And then you can put it all back together. Now snug it all up with your handy dandy Harbor Freight wrench. And once that's all snugged up, you're ready to go ahead and put the antenna on as well. Now you want to make sure that your car hood closes right, and especially make sure that it doesn't pinch the cable. Here I'm checking and I can see that the cable can freely go in and out. It's not getting pinched, so there's no connection that's getting severed. Now that your antenna is essentially done and mounted, you'll want to double check on the continuity again. And so you want to make sure that you're still grounded and that the black is actually uh, grounding to the mount. But also check that your positive end isn't being grounded on accident either, or else it'll be a short circuit and then your radio won't work properly. And of course, remember to tune your radio too after this. Now this video's been long in the making and I've actually had this antenna installed just like how I've shown in this video for over a year and it's gone on the highway at 80 miles an hour and it's gone on some pretty rough roads with that antenna flapping everywhere and it stayed solid, it hasn't budged or come loose at all during the year that I've had it on there. 